Okay, uh, this is GS here with the V Brown Bag crew, and I'm here with Trevor Roberts uh, with VCE, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the CCIE data center. So, Trevor, um, where are you with your uh, CCIE data center journey? Okay, so I think I'm a further along than some of the other folks who might be studying already. I've I've done the data center uh, written exam, and that wasn't too bad. I actually did the data center lab exam at least once. Okay. Um, so that was a bit of a challenge. I didn't pass, but I know what I need to work on for next time. And what I can tell everyone is make sure you work on all your fundamentals. Don't just take it, just don't take it for granted that you only have to study the advanced stuff for the papers. Okay. Yeah, I, I actually. Uh, took my uh, CCNA data center, th those two exams, and I, I can testify to the same thing. It's don't forget your fundamentals. Yeah, definitely. So, what all did you do to prepare for your uh, the written exam? Sure. Well, I had an easier time, I think, because I was formerly doing professional services for Cisco around UCS. Okay. And so that component, I, I didn't really have to study as much. But for the other things that I wasn't familiar with, such as the Nexus technologies, I went and took the data center uh, unified fabric implementation course, okay. as well as uh, the design course. And they cover a good deal of what the various uh, blueprints for CCNA data center, the CCMP data center, CCIE data center all cover. So definitely do the coursework if you can and, and try to get as much practice in as you can because uh, just having book knowledge, even for the written exam, is not going to be sufficient. You need to have some hands-on practice. Okay. And did you find that, I mean, obviously, I know you didn't pass the first try on the CCIE lab, um, but what, what did you do, was your, what was your preparation like for the CCIE lab as opposed to the so, for the lab, it was a lot of practice. Um, I'm fortunate that my employer has a lot of the equipment that Cisco has on the blueprint, All right. except for the ASO balancer. Uh, so I'm flying a little blind there, but other than that, I was able to get some practice on the 7K, the 5K, the UCS, the MDS. There's, if you do not have all of the equipment available, there are racks available for rental from uh, both IE and IP Expert, and I've tried both of them. They're very high quality. So if you do not have access to the entire stack, give those a check, and you know I think you'll enjoy the quality that they have. Okay. And you have some experience. I know you don't didn't you don't have your CCNA and your uh, CCNP data center. Right. You have some experience with some of the exams that were. That, that kind of became part of the yes. CCNP. Can you speak a little bit about um, your experience with those and the uh, any classes that you took around? Sure. So before Cisco had formal data center certifications, there were Cisco specializations in the data center space. And taking the unified fabric uh, course, taking the unified compute course, both the implementation and the design, that's really going to align nicely with the exams that you need to take. And I believe the CCNA data center, one of the exams is kind of like the standard CCNA ICND1 type of thing okay. where you're getting to, into some of the layer two stuff as well as some of the basic layer three stuff. So just try to get into as many courses as you can uh, doing the data center unified fabric and compute. And you should be more than prepared for those exams. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much, Trevor. I really appreciate taking the Schedule, time out of your schedule to come talk with us. Uh, thanks a lot, and good luck on the next try. <laughs> All right, thank you, GS.